I am a counselor by profession, and I people come to me to talk about their problems, whether it's small or big. Uh, sometimes it's related to addiction. Sometimes related to mental health. So the, every time when people come to me, I will ask them. Tell me your story. Tell me your story. I believe every one of us here in this room has our own story of our life, story of your childhood, how you grew up in that village, in that part of the town, story of happy memories, story of even uh, success, story of growing up in a happy family. But sometimes, uh, some of us may not have a very good story to tell, because we all have different story, and some of your story may be very sad, or very uh, helpless, or hopeless story. For some of you might have experience that your parents beat you up or cave you or even lock you inside the toilet or a room to punish you. Or some of you may have a story of rejection from your friends and even from your from your loved ones. Or even uh, So some of, of you may feel afraid to tell your story because it is embarrassing, because it is very shaming. My story is not a good story. My story is very bad. I don't like to tell my story to other people. I don't like others to let know, not to know about my life, what's going on in my life because it is shameful. On one hand, it is nice to tell a success story, isn't it? But on the other hand, it is very shameful to tell of our failures. So, some, because of that, many of us, whether you are a student, whether you are a parent or whether you are even a pastor or teacher or even you are very qualified uh, people, life gives, life gives us challenges. We cannot escape from our life. Life gives us challenges and we have to deal with it. And sadly, unfortunately, some people do not know how to deal with those challenges and they run for help, they seek help in the wrong place with the wrong people. And some of us, because our story is not so good to tell, our story is so embarrassing, our story is so shaming. And because of that, we suffer alone. We suffer silently, isn't it? And we suffer deep down inside our soul, our heart. And we cry secretly. And we don't want others to know about what happened to us. But I want you to know that help is available. Help is available. And one of the places of help and support you can go to and you can run to is a place of counseling. When we talk about counseling, I want you to have a very positive understanding of what counseling is. Meaning, when you go for counseling, it doesn't mean that you are weak. When you go for counseling, it doesn't mean that you, you are crazy. No, not at all. When you seek help, when you go and see a counselor, 
I would say you are very, very courageous because to seek help requires a lot of courage, right? To say, I need help, could you please help me? I have problems, I don't know how to deal with this problem, could you please help me? And that is courageous thing to do. And here, can you see the picture here? Yeah. On, my, on, your, on your left side, you can see different bottles. And it says, don't bottle up your emotions. Meaning, when you feel sad, we keep it inside. And when you feel uh, anger, we keep it inside. And when we feel depressed, or when we feel very stressed, we don't know how to handle our problems, we keep it inside. We don't want to talk about it. But if you bottle up, if we keep inside your life, somehow it will burst up. You know pressure cooker? Yeah, pressure cooker. If you seal the, the, the vacuum on the top on the lid, then it will burst out, isn't it? So, many of us, we don't want to talk about our problems. We don't want to talk about our feelings, how you feel. And we bottle up, and that is not healthy. And that is not good for you. And on, the, on, on, the, on your right side, if you see the, the little girl, that girl is inside the bottle. So it is like when you bottle up your feelings, when you don't talk about your problems, it is like you are inside the bottle and you can become very stressed and you can, and you can, and you can become frustrated and you feel bad about yourself and you feel hopeless and so on and so forth. And eventually some people will turn into drugs so that they can feel good about themselves again and which is not very healthy. You know the story already. Now, counseling, if you come to counseling, uh, if you come to counseling, counselor will help you to identify some of your negative thinking, some of your negative uh, thinking that contribute to the feelings of hopelessness and helplessness, and to develop a more positive outlook in life. You feel helpless, you feel hopeless, but if you come for counseling, your counselor will help you to see things like in a very positive way. It will, your counselor will walk with you, will talk with you. Your counselor will not judge you. Your counselor will accept you with who you are, with all your weakness and with all your shortcomings and failures. And the next point is, your, if you come to counselor, you. You will learn to better. Uh, you will learn to better express and manage your emotion instead of shutting down. Right? Instead of shutting down your emotion, you will be able to express your emotions, your feelings, what you want to say in a very healthy way. For example, anger. Instead of just fighting or instead of just hitting the wall you can talk in a very healthy way. You can express your feelings in a very healthy and more positive way. And also, if you come to counseling, the counselor will help you to have a greater sense of self, a greater sense of self and purpose in your life. And your counselor will also will help you to regain a sense of control See, we talk about addiction. The drugs control you. But if you come for counseling, eventually, eventually, if you don't give up, then it will start to control and you start to control your life again, not the drugs. All right. And also to regain a sense of control and confidence in your life and also meaning and purpose in life. I don't have meaning. I don't want to live anymore. But counselor will help you to find meaning and purpose in your life. Help you to discover what you want to do in your life. And more, and also very important, the last point, to empower you. That means to make you more stronger. 
to make you more confident in your life, to empower you to live your life that is meaningful and fulfilling. Now, okay, because of the slight problem, uh, it comes all together, so I can't do anything about this one. But basically what this slide says is, counseling will give you a different perspective in life. A different perspective in life. Your challenges, it will help you to see in a different way. Your problems, if you think that your problem cannot be solved, but with the help of your counselor and you together, working together, you can start to see your problem in a more positive, in a more uh, a good perspective. All right, you can start to see things in a more positive way. If I could have shown the slide, that will make very meaningful, but uh, the, there are two slides behind these spectacles, but I couldn't show. But what I'm saying is, try to see things from different perspective. The same problem can be very different when you see things from different angles. If you see this from this angle, oh, the problem is too big. But if you look at the same problem from another angle, perspective, you can say, I can do it, I can manage. So it's all about your perspective and counseling will help you to do that. Uh, this uh, women said, tell your story because your story will heal you and it will heal someone else. We all have a story to tell. Happy stories, very sad stories. But if you Keep those sad stories and experience inside you, bottle up. It will not be good for you. So learn to tell your story. And the place where you can tell your story is to go and find a counselor and talk about your life. This is my story. I need help. It's very difficult. It's very challenging. Please help me. So when you tell your story, instead of keeping inside you, it will heal you. You'll have more fulfilling life and purpose. So what is your story? Tell it, but don't tell it to anybody, okay? Tell it to the right person in a safe environment where you feel loved, accepted, and where you will not be judged, all right? So I will end my talk with this one and I wish you all the very best in your studies. <laughs> and keep away from any intoxicant and any drugs because, because once you are into drugs, it is like a, it is like going for a fishing. You know the hook, right? Once you bite the hook, it is very, very, very difficult to get out. But there is hope. But there is uh, hope, an opportunity where you can deal with this kind of problems. If you are struggling with all, any intoxicant or drugs, don't hide. Talk to us. Talk to people whom you can trust. All right? Then there will be freedom for you. So I will end here.